Welcome you to episode 7 of Gridiron Glory. I'm Alexander Cook, Cole Wolfgang, unable to make it tonight. So let's get started with last night's games. And Oklahoma taking on Iowa State. Many people thought Iowa State was going to be blown out. Quite the opposite. But Oklahoma does pull away. So your final score, Oklahoma 34, Iowa State 24. As number 14, Oklahoma moves on. And then number 15, Colorado also moved on with the W, taking on UCLA at home. They won 20 to 10. And now let's take a look in the NFL. We have the Falcons taking on the Bucks. And great game if you like offense. But in the end, it's those dominant Falcons getting a 43 to 28 win. A pretty good team in that NFC division. And the AFC, really, they've got the Broncos, they've got the Patriots, but I think overall the NFC probably the best at this point. And now let's move on to tonight's games. We have Temple taking on Connecticut right now. Your score's 21 nothing Temple. They've been pretty impressive this year within the American Conference, but not really – ranking worthy and then we have Boise State who cu- came off of a hard loss in Laramie Wyoming against the Wyoming Cowboys last week they lost by a safety and they take on San Jose State at home and I expect them to get the one I don't necessarily think it'll be pretty but it you know it's I Boise State's obviously going to get into a bowl game, but they're just not that great of a team compared to the other great teams in all of college football. Now let's take a look at our Saturday slate. We start with Texas A&M, number four in the country. A surprising ranking. We talked about that on our first half of episode five on the rankings. And right now they take, and tomorrow they'll be taking on Mississippi State at Davis Wade Stadium in Starkville on the SEC ESPN Network. I expect Texas A&M to get an easy one here. Mississippi State has just not been good this year. And Now let's take a look at Vanderbilt taking on Auburn and Jordan-Hare Stadium. I think this is going to be an easy win for the Tigers. This will be on ESPN. Then on ESPN2, we have Louisville taking on Boston College on the road. Alumni Stadium, well, Boston College is not too good. They're coming off of a pretty good, pretty impressive one against NC State, but it won't be enough to pass this Louisville team. I think they'll respond to last week's loss and look really good. But when you look at Louisville right now, they don't really look like a playoff team, but they look like a good team, and I don't see them falling to Boston College in any case. And then on ABC, we've got number eight, mighty Wisconsin. And they're mighty on the defensive side, taking on Northwestern at Ryan Field in Evanston, Illinois. And Northwestern's pretty mighty on the offensive side. So an intriguing matchup there. It's not just one, two, three. Wisconsin's ranked and Northwestern's not. This could be a very interesting game. Northwestern winning the majority of their last games against Wisconsin, including a thriller last year. This is I think this will be a close game. I think in the end, Wisconsin's defense gets the job done. Now at Georgia Tech heading on the road to Keenan Stadium in Chapel Hill. Take on number 21, UNC. This will be on the ACC Network Extra and on Watch ESPN, as all these ESPN games are. And I think this is not really going to be that close. I think North Carolina gets an easy win. And now let's take a look at that 3.30 time slot. We've got number three, Michigan, that Big Ten powerhouse hosting Maryland, which at one point this season, at this season is undefeated. So not the easiest one for Michigan, but I certainly think it's a win. And I think it's going to be, you know, not very – not – I don't think it'll be too hard, but I think it won't be a a blowout. And then we have number 18, Oklahoma State, taking on Kansas State. That'll be on ABC or ESPN2, depending on where you're located around the country. 
And that one for me, I, th- I think it's close. I think it's, you know, somewhat high scoring, not the normal Big Ten, or Big, tw- excuse me, Big 12 high scoring. But I think Oklahoma State pulls a win. It's hard to predict those Big 12 games. And then we have Syracuse on the road at Memorial Stadium in Clemson, South Carolina, take on number two in the country, Clemson. I think this is an easy one for the Tigers. And then we to close out the 3.30 time slot, we've got number 19, Virginia Tech, taking on Duke. And I think Virginia Tech gets an, an easy win there. And then, excuse me, we are not closing out the 3.30 time slot. We also have num- – we also have TCU taking on number 17, Baylor. Once again, hard to predict. I want to go Baylor here just because they're ranked higher. And, you know, I'm not a Big 12 expert, but these games are really so hard to predict. Then we have, I think, in my opinion, a hard game to pick. Number 11, Florida taking on Arkansas on CBS. By the way, the Virginia Tech game on ESPNU the, and the Baylor game on Fox. For this one with Florida and Arkansas, in a close game, I think Florida pulls away, but I think it'll be pretty close, one to watch, and then that I'll close out, our 3.30 p.m. Eastern time slot, and then we get Arizona taking on Washington State at 4 p.m. Eastern. I expect Washington State, which has been looking pretty good recently, take down Arizona. Now let's move on down to 7 p.m. Eastern. We've got Florida State coming off of a, yet another heartbreaker, this time against Clemson at Doak Campbell, going on the road to Carter Finley to take on the NC State Wolfpack, which somehow just fell apart against Boston College. I think the, the Seminoles are a quality team despite their record, and I think they get the win. And then we have on ESPN2, 7 p.m. Eastern, Kansas taking on West Virginia. I think West Virginia rolls Kansas. Just a terrible team overall. And then now we get to our intriguing matchups on here. But let's first skip ahead to 10.30 p.m. Eastern. We've got number five, Washington at Cal. I think it'll be close, but I think Washington gets the win. Now our intriguing games, let's start on the Big Ten Network, 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Iowa taking on Penn State, number 12 in the country. And I think this one will be a close game, but I think in the end, you know, you've got just the environment at Beaver Stadium, and you've got a rolling Penn State team after a huge win against Purdue. I'm going to go Nittany Lions here getting the win. And then let's take a look at our ranked matchups of the weekend. Number one, Alabama taking on number 13, LSU Tiger Stadium at Baton Rouge, Death Valley. And then we have number 10, Nebraska at number six, Ohio State in a Big Ten brawl over at the Horseshoe. Let's start with the implications of these two games, starting with Number 10, Nebraska at Ohio, number 6, Ohio State. This is huge because if Ohio State loses again and Michigan runs the table because it looks like they will, then even if Michigan loses to Ohio State, then Michigan still gets into the Big Ten Championship representing the East. But, and if Ohio State wins, they have no chance to get into the playoff. They've got to be perfect. And then we've got, for Nebraska, if they win here and then run the table, I think they'll run the table past this game. And if they do win this game, certainly run the table, then they get it to represent the Big Ten West in the Big Ten championship game. Otherwise, it'll probably be Wisconsin, assuming they went out, and I do predict they will. And then let's take a look at the implications of the battle and Death Valley, number one Alabama, taking on number 13 LSU. Now, this doesn't really affect LSU besides getting revenge for losing to Alabama for so many years. But let's take a look at the SEC championship picture. Let's say LSU beats Alabama. Then Texas A&M is in 
if Auburn wins out, if Auburn wins the Iron Bowl, Texas A&M wins out, including being LSU, then they're in the SEC championship game. And let's say that LSU beats Texas A&M at the, at, in Week 13. Alabama loses to Auburn in the Iron Bowl. Of course, LSU's already beaten Alabama. Then Auburn gets into the SEC championship game. But if Alabama wins, and even they lose to Auburn, then they're in to the SEC championship game. So all they have to do is avoid losing twice. And the only times I could see Alabama possibly losing, it's this game against LSU at Death Valley, 8 p.m. Eastern on CBS. This is actually prime time on CBS as it has been the last few years. And then, and then against Auburn. So it's these two games. If, if Alabama loses in them, then another team gets into the SEC championship game, and Alabama's out. And we just talked about the implications. Let's start with the picks. We're going to start with number 10, Nebraska, taking on number 6, Ohio State, at the horseshoe. I've got to go with Nebraska. They looked impressive in their loss against Wisconsin. I think their defense holds up against JT Barrett. They get them to the ground enough. It's going to be a close battle for the line scrimmage, but I think ultimately you're going to have Nebraska winning the the battle in the trenches, and I think they end up winning. Tommy Armstrong gets enough big plays to win the game for Nebraska, and then they win out. They go to the Big Ten Championship game and face Michigan. Then we have number one Alabama taking on number 13 LSU on CBS 8 p.m. Eastern. Everybody can't wait for this game. This is a hard, this is a hard pick. But I'm going to go Alabama because I believe with that strong defense, they're going to be able to win the line of scrimmage. They're going to be able to win the bound the trenches on that front. And since they control that, they're going to limit Leonard Fournette enough to make LSU throw the ball, which they can't do well. And then Alabama's going to get enough big plays on offense to win the game. I think it's close, but I think Alabama gets the win at Tiger Stadium. But if LSU wins, it's a whole different map in the SEC. And we'll be talking about that later, assuming that does happen. And I'll wrap it up for Episode 7 of Gridiron Glory. I'm Alexander and Cook, Cole Wolfgang, unable to make it tonight and please follow us on twitter at at the football kids that's at the football kids and check out our blog at gridiron glory sports blog dot weebly dot com that's gridiron glory sports blog dot weebly dot com thank you for tuning in and please tell your friends about us and subscribe if you would like the honor and the joy of being the first subscriber of our podcast just click that button that's all you have to do and it'll make us feel an adrenaline rush that cannot be matched anywhere else. Thank you for subscribing, following, checking out our blog. Have a great evening, and we hope you enjoy your day. College football action. And also, we will be live tweeting this weekend for CFB and the NFL, so you'll want to follow. Have a great weekend.